Let's look back at the history of the Ivonano Theatre. This is part one, how we came to be. On the 24th of April 1963, a devastating fire gutted the existing Guildford Repertory Theatre on North Street, leaving a big hole in the well-respected theatre scene in Guildford. This paved the way for the plans for a new theatre to be accelerated, and the Ivonano Theatre became a sign of the future. The building project took two years, and was funded largely by monies raised by Guildford and Surrey theatre lovers, cementing the Ivonano as a theatre at the heart of its community a case that still stands proud today. In September 1963, household name Vanessa Redgrave laid the foundation stone, imprinting her footprint in the concrete floor in what is now our foyer. When we relayed our carpet last year, we uncovered these footprints once again. When the building work was starting to come together, a group of famous actors visited the site in 1964 to see the progress, including Sir Michael Redgrave and Vivian Lee. With the building work finished and the theatre now under the leadership of our very first artistic director, Laurie Lister, the curtain came up for the first time on the 2nd of June, 1965, with a gala performance of A Month in the Country. The opening performance starred Ingrid Bergman and Michael Redgrave, the evening being opened with a prologue specially commissioned from playwright Christopher Fry and performed by actor Dirk Bogard. Due to the sheer amount of people who donated to support the building of the theatre, those who we now call founder members, we had to host three separate opening nights in order to be able to offer them all the chance to attend. So that's how the Yvon Arno Theatre came to be. Keep an eye out for more videos about the history of the theatre coming soon. You can find out more about the theatre, sign up for our email mailing list and book tickets for future events at yvonne-arno.co.uk.